Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading and it will be for around Wednesday the 4th of August 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not, not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. Okay, what do we have for the day please? What is the message people need to hear the most? Wednesday the 4th of August 2021. Oh, too many. What is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, we've got the King of Swords. King of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups, The Lovers, we have the Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, let's try and move those up a bit, oh, Two of Cups in the Environment. Three of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So we have the Lovers in the immediate past, a choice in love, romance, relationships, I feel can also be in business or other areas of your life, but essentially the lovers is about partnerships, unions, and it's deeply connected energy. So these two people, they fit together perfectly. We have the page of pentacles, the beginnings of something new. Now this can be in terms of, it feels to do with more planting new seeds, rebuilding. Someone's wanting to get a new level of stability and it feels into whatever this relationship is. And why? Because there's regret here. Five of Cups is regret. Uh, looking back, not being able to move on from the past, looking back, wishing that you could change it, but you can't, you know, it's that kind of energy. However, there is still potential with the two cups behind this person, but right now they don't see it. They're just looking at the negative. So it feels like somebody is wanting to rebuild something here, but there is another energy that is It definitely feels maybe not being open to op overly receptive right now. Because the King of Swords is a card of truth, somebody who stands in their truth and um, fairness, you know, it's a very fair energy, but he is all about truth. So, you know, somebody who absolutely sees the big picture, sees the situation exactly for what it is. And there's no heart energy here. It's to do with logic, reason, truth, mental clarity. It is that kind of energy. We have that crossed with a king of pentacles, uh, which is a sign of, generally, this is what this is what is challenging the situation. So king of pentacles is all about stability and security. However, I feel in this um, situation, something has challenged the security and stability of a relationship here. In whatever context this resonates for you, it could be business partnerships. Again, it could be other partnership areas or two people who are very closely connected. But it feels um, it can also be obviously in terms of love. The Eight of Swords is negative, is a card of when we're so much in our own head, we can't see the way forward. Um, it can be a card of blocking, inhibited thinking, and I feel it's towards, or feeling it can be a card of, 
I don't know how to move forward. If I do this, then this happens. If I do this, then that happens. Um, it, it's almost kind of like something is keeping you stuck. And we have the Queen of Wands in the supporting energies, which is all about taking action. Uh, she is all about inspired action, somebody who understands how to take the lead, take control of a situation now. And it's from a point of, of power, authority, taking control of something. The Two of Cups is an energy of there is still love here. So I feel in this situation somebody needs to take control here because the love is still there. The two cups here in the environment is somebody wants to, it feels to do with reconcile, make peace. Someone could have been blocked, like I said, there could have been blocked. Someone could have shut down the barriers here towards somebody, whatever this regret was. However, the love is still there in the environment. Somebody still wants to make something right. I feel they've taken steps or they're going to take steps to make that happen. Then there is an energy of I've done all I can do. I'm just going to wait. And we have the nine of cups, which is getting your heart's desire. So it feels like there is a really positive outcome here. Um, the nine of cups is happiness, joy, uh, being fulfilled, content. But it's a card of getting your wish. So somebody's hoping all is not lost. They regret their actions. I feel that there is some kind of resistance or blocked energy towards this person because they're still seeing the truth that has destabilized some kind of relationship. However, there is an energy of, it's almost kind of like, you know, if somebody wants it badly enough, you know, with that Queen of Wands energy, then you've got to make it happen. It's not about, um, it's beyond my control, you know, if this is the person that's regretting. It's not about if it's beyond my control. It is about I need to take the reins of something now and make it right because the love is still there and I want to make something right here. And there is an energy that there will be some kind of waiting. There could be some kind of expression of love. Um, but the message here is you're going to get your wish. This story ends in happiness. But it feels like there has been some kind of rocky road to that, I have to say. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone wants to... Um, it feels, this has come out more reversed than upright, so this is an energy of somebody wants to release negative feelings, I feel, towards them. They regret their actions and they want to overcome the block that I feel the other person is feeling in this situation. They're hoping all is not lost and we still have this block in the immediate future. However, I do feel in this situation with the Nine of Cups at the end, the message is if you take control, remember she is that warrior queen. She's not a defeatist energy. She's a very confident energy. She is very intuitive. She feels a way through a situation um, and she understands when the right time to act is and when the right time is not to act. Um, so it is just about judging things, feeling your way through a situation. Let's do the Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. So we have a card of stability and security. The Queen of Pentacles is also a card of healing and nurturing something. Now with the Eight of Swords, it feels somebody doesn't is not prepared right now at this point in time to nurture something back to health, um, to repair whatever damage has been caused here. But I definitely feel there is an energy here of it feels like there's potential. 
let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have, okay, a few cards. Oh my goodness. The Justice card, it came out yesterday. In this instance, it's a card of reap what you sow. Actions have consequences. But also, by taking action in a situation, you can determine the outcome of what this is, with your best effort anyway. In a way to, I feel in this situation, make something right. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is to do with a long-term committed relationship, can also be to do with family. The Empress is all about the birth of something new, the promise of something new. And we have the Six of Swords with that, which is the card of healing. Now, it can also be detaching from a situation, but I'm feeling in this uh, energy, if somebody wants to move past the troubled times and restore equilibrium, you know, start getting things in the right direction towards a better future. So I, and the, the Empress is all about the birth of something new, very abundant energy, but very nurturing energy as well, like that Queen of Pentacles. So the environment is saying that if you take action, you can reap, there is an energy of you can reap what you sow. It is cause and effect. You know, yes, up to this point, it might well be that something has caused someone to regret their actions and they want to make something right. There feels some kind of resistant energy here with the other person. However, that Queen of Wands energy with the clarified energy is still saying that if you could take control of a situation and come at this from a place of power and confidence, there is an opportunity to bring calm back to a situation and healing and embrace the new promise, the promise of something new. The Empress is very good in terms of new love or renewed love. You might be dealing with an Empress. Venus in Taurus can also be Libra. Other cards we have Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups as the outcome. Strength. So this is about facing a fear, facing a challenge and overcoming it. Regardless of your own internal energy, there can sometimes be resistance in your own internal energy with the strength. And that's when you have to be resolute, you know, resolute. I'm gonna, it feels like get somebody back. It feels like get somebody back. Neo energy, the strength card. It's all to do with the heart energy as well. That Leo card. I'm going to put my heart and soul into something here. We have the tower. Let's get one more. Ten of Cups. And so I've got the Nine of Cups, I've got the Ten of Cups, I've got the Queen of Cups here. So this is about restoring emotional stability, uh, love in a situation, someone showing love, someone being caring and compassionate. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups, which is the happy ever after energy. Real happiness is on offer here. And it feels whatever this tower moment was for you, the tower can be a card of something that has been destabilized. You know, that tower comes crumbling down because the universe always says it wasn't built to stand the test of time. Part of our ev evolution is to tear towers down and rebuild them. We do them on a cyclical basis. So not always easy it can be to do with a revelation, a truth, uh, something that's completely destabilized. Maybe the four walls of your relationship here, but it feels uh, someone is resolute, somebody is determined to overcome whatever this tower has been and restore emotional stability and happiness back in their life. And I feel that's going to happen. I feel this is about getting the happiness back. And I definitely feel in this situation, somebody's about to get real happiness back. And you know what that tower may have taught this 
couple or this partnership, this union, what it has taught them is the love. You know, it, it feels somebody nearly lost it. And, you know, we're going from a nine of cups now to a ten of cups. So there is an energy of you're getting your wish, but also so much more because someone's learned some kind of valuable lesson of what someone means to them. It's a powerful energy. So I'm going to pull a final card. This is all about getting the happiness back. I feel someone might not be talking to someone, uh, the other person in this situation. Obviously, it is two people. So there's one energy that's not talking that might well be blocking somebody out. Yeah, we have light. Isn't that lovely? So we have light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. It's a lovely energy, so I hope you found it useful, the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that and I will see you next time. Thank you.